Hello YouTube. As you can probably see, I'm going to talk about this application that you can see in front of you. It's called Keika, and you can get it at www.keikaosx.com/en/ uh, or forward slash, I guess. I'll put this in the sidebar. You can probably just click it a lot easier than copying what I'm saying. And, yeah. So you can see that it offers numerous compression formats as well as extraction formats. Now, you might ask, um, I have the an, archive, the an archiver already. Why do I need this program? So I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, just some of the formats that the an archiver supports. You might say, well, that's a lot. Oh uh, yeah, why do I need this program that you're recommending? Now, yeah, it is a lot of um, file types that the unarchiver um, supports. However, it only supports extraction. Only extraction. What if I want to archive a file? Now, obviously, as you might know, Finder, if you right-click, you can click um, Compress File or Archive File or something like that. And I'll put it into a zip file. But what the thing it doesn't have is um, advanced features. Say, oh, I want to split up this maybe 10 gigabyte files into 10 1 gigabyte files in the zip format. How do I do that? And the answer is you can't unless you have another application such as this one. Or, for example, oh, I want to um, archive into the 7 zip format. How do I do that? It doesn't do that, only um, archives into the zip format. So, what this application does, first of all, it's um let me see get it first so what it resides in a dock and it's really easy to use all you do is you drag the file down um, to the dock icon and it automatically makes um, the file of the format of your choosing which I chose is 7-zip and if you do that again you can see it extracts it you can also split the file, which is a feature that I've been looking for a very long time. And you can put a password in the file, so you can kind of password protect the file. And it has some presets here, but the best thing is that you can choose your own. So if you want 1 gigabyte or 701 megabytes, no, that, that was a bad example, I guess. But the point is you can choose whatever um, the size you want of the file. Obviously, I can't use it for this one since it's just a PDF. It's not going to be like a gigabyte or something. Um, but um, it does offer more preferences. And as you can see, my. Okay, I, I think they need a spelling check there. But um, it does offer a multitude of files you can um, uh, archive into, as well their actions um, uh, that you can choose. So for me, uh, I use automatic so if you put in a normal file it'll archive it and I put in an archive file it'll revert that file to the original and for me I put the save to location as desktop and it has other features um, like show and finder, move to trash and also has extraction options these options aren't as important as an archiver can do a lot of these things but I think one thing that an archiver cannot do um, is um, for example you have 10 1 gigabyte files, all you have to do is just drag it to the icon and it'll um, automatically see all the other files because of the file names um, and then it'll revert to the original file. So it's a really handy app um, if you've been looking for this. Um, I've been looking for this for a while. Um, I found a number of RAR, um, RAR format applications but um, they weren't really feature complete like they didn't offer both compression and extraction as well as a splitting method so I'm really happy with this um, software again let me show you the website you can just download it at source, uh, SourceForge and yeah the ratings have been pretty good 27 thumbs up so it's just um, a small recommendation if you're looking for a, an archiver like not really a replacement but it adds on top of it so if you want to archive a file into all these formats, or these formats, or you want to extract these um, formats, um, you can use this application Keika. As you can see, I said the, and um, yeah, this just goes to what I said before. You drag it, and to the dock icon, and it'll make the archive file. You can do it in reverse, and you can even uh, 
encrypt the file, I guess, using a password. There's um, more preferences. And even from the dock icon, it gives you uh, many options. Also, preferences. And I think they changed the preferences. This does not look like the preferences you saw before. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to use. I highly recommend this app. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.